So plan uh, uh, and diagram and finishing up. So I'm, I'm going to use SketchUp. I've got my little SketchUp Pro going here. So I'm going to go into the 3D warehouse, get models, look up the par, par, come on, 3D warehouse, do your thing. There you go. Look at the Parthenon. And it's going to give me some options. I'm going to look at something that's got, this is that, you know, is the original Parthenon, which I really dig because I want to really look at the original Parthenon and figure out what was going on originally. This one's got the whole Acropolis. So I'm going to take it, download it, load it directly into my SketchUp model. And it's a pretty big one. So it's going to take a little while to load in there. We're waiting, we're waiting. Uh, well, that's while we're doing that, I'm going to just look through the rest of this here. So we've got this is the plan. Here I'm going to do a, a diagram with some annotations, um, and then I'm going to get into the people section with an image, tool section with an image, and then the materials section with one big image. So uh, the people part, I can probably figure out what those what those were. The people who built the Parthenon. Uh, it's I'm guessing it was during the it was during the Athenian Empire construction ban in the Athenian Empire. Um, I might, this is the Delian League, weird, but let's, let's look at what's going on here. Um, hist early history, restoration, there's some stuff here about the building, some stuff here. Let's just say I found a, a couple of paragraphs here about the people and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to double click into here and I'm going to paste it there and I'm going to do that, and I've done that research. I'm going to put an image there, um, and I am going to look at ancient, uh, let me, let's just say Parthenon people. So that's how I just put in the Parthenon with people in it. Um, ancient Athens. Let's try that and see what we get for images. Uh, yeah, there's some some people walking around there. That's that's a pretty good image. Let's view that. Copy, paste. I'll slide that into place, and I'll right click on it to fit image. I'm gonna slide it over see if I can get some better context with people, something like that. And then I'm gonna go with uh, a range. I gotta click on that. Arrange, send backward, do it one more time. Let's see if that does it. Yep, there we go. There's people. So I might want to slide this around so it's over something dark so I can actually read it. Uh, there's the people. And then I have the, a place for one more image. Um, uh, let's see what else I can find. What do I got here uh, for the people of Athens? Uh, not really much, right? So, well, well, here's this is good. This is good. Ooh, this is a great one. If anybody's ever seen this painting, it's a great painting. Maybe I can find a good image of it. Raphael doing all the the um, philosophers. Uh, I'm gonna find a big image of it uh, at some point, but for now, I'm just gonna take it, stick it in here. Like that. I've done all my research so I know what that's about. Arrange, sent back. Uh, okay, silly thing. And then I've got this block of text which doesn't read very well where it is. Slide it around a little bit. And we'll do this. Put it over these sorry people. Uh, and I'll do it that way. So, okay, I'm back in and then I'm going to go back into SketchUp here. So, SketchUp is giving me this uh, little move tool when I bring something in. And now it's auto saving. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. We're coming back to it. Uh, so we're we're looking at the text here, the text there. I can maybe just grab from some other source again. Um, whatever. I find some text to, that uh, works with that image. It has something to do with the uh, the people. So I've got some kind of annotation there. So what you're doing is you're taking your research and you're separating it out into pieces. So the tools, I'm going to try to figure out, uh, it was probably stone, right? It was, or um, uh, ancient Greece stone tools, something like that. So I go to images. Uh, there we go. 
Good stuff. I'm looking for something else. Ooh, look at that. What is that? This is interesting. View image. Uh, let's try it. Copy, paste, into place I go. Fit it. Uh, send back. Delete that. I'm gonna have to switch tools. I can double click on a text, double click like this, and then and then select all the text. Up here is where you can change the color of the text. I can change to black. Uh, then I'm gonna go take some more text from other research that I've done. And I'm gonna look at this. No, I need more text than that, don't I? I need to get something good. Uh, whoop. I'm not really taking text that's appropriate right now. You'll do that in your own research. I'm just doing this to get this done. So there we go, tools. Um, need another image for that. Uh, let's look at this. Copy, paste, control V is paste, stretch it out, fit it, send it back, delete gray, put some text in there, and so on for materials. So that's what I'm doing. So let's go back and let's do our plan. We've got this nice annotations here that I've been given by my awesome instructor. I can fill in these, I can click in here and change these for scale to get it to the right scale. I've got some notations here I can get in and change that text to figure out what they are. And I've got numbers here that I can move around. So I'll go into SketchUp. SketchUp, when you bring something in, it gives me a move tool. If I click somewhere, it should place it. We'll give it a minute. I clicked and I'm waiting. It's a big model, so it's gonna take a couple seconds probably to land. There we go. So, SketchUp. Uh, now it's moving. I'm going to click one more time. Looks like it's trying to move it around. Get it set in place. So, I'm going to go off of my Move tool. I'm going to go back to this. This is my Select tool. I'm moving around SketchUp. The mouse wheel scrolls me in and out. If I push down my mouse wheel, I can rotate around. So, I can scroll in, rotate, scroll out, rotate. And it'll always rotate on whatever my mouse is on. So if I put my mouse on like over here, it's going to rotate on that. If I put it on here, it's going to rotate on that. Over here, it's going to rotate on that. And that, it's, that's just how that goes. Okay, so I've got this and I want to do a plan. So here's how I do a plan. I, I just want to get a plan kind of of the, the cutout, the, you know, the cutting through the building so I can see what's going on inside. So there's this little tool here that's called the section tool. If you don't see this up here in your... Um, SketchUping, then you can uh, get it there by going over to a, like a blank area over here, uh, right click and click on section, and then this should show up. And then I'm gonna click on this marker, this is the section plane, and I'm gonna click somewhere in the model where the, the, the section plane is blue. You can see it changes color as it goes into all this different stuff around here. I want it to be blue, so it's flat. So I'm gonna check there. So if I scroll out, zoom out a little bit, I can see where that section plane is doing and I can move it. So I'm gonna to go to my move tool and I should be able to scroll over and it should turn blue when it's telling me that it'll move that. And I'll click, just click, not click and drag, just click. And I can move it up and down and you can see what it, where it changes the section. So I'm gonna go about right there and click again and that locks it into place. So now I wanna view it as a plan so I can go into a camera, standard views, top then i can go camera again parallel projection then i'll move my mouse scroll in and out with my mouse wheel i don't want to rotate now because i'm perfectly on top of the model and that's what i want to see and i want to just see this as a line drawing and i don't want to see the section plane so to hide the section plane there are these little options here it's like display section plane display section cut. i want to keep the cut not the plane boop way it goes and then if I want to make this really cool in black and white, I can go into Styles, Edit, um, and I've got some options there, and I can control it there. The other way I can do this is to go out to View, Face Style, Hidden Line. So either way, you can do it over here. There's ways to do Hidden Line and all that stuff over here. Wait, there are ways to do here. So here I go. There's my plan. I got it. So this is what I want. I'm going to go File, Export, 
2D graphic, and I want to do it as a PDF, and I'm going to call it the Parthenon Plan. There it is. That's what I'm going to save it at, and then I'm going to export. There are some options here you can look at. Um, you know, you can you can set the drawing size. Oh, it's an enormous drawing size, eight feet by four feet. But you know, whatever you want to do, you can do that. So, uh, but you don't have to. You can just leave it because PDF. What it'll do is it'll export it as a vector-based thing. So it doesn't matter how big it is. It'll zoom in. It'll look good. So once I hit export, I wait a couple minutes for it to do it. Then I'm over here and I go to File, Place, and I'll go to my Documents where I saved it. Uh, hopefully, somewhere in here. I've got it in here somewhere. Uh, let, let's see if I can look at this. Look up here. Plan. Parthenon plan. There we go. Open. It's going to ask me to place it. Yes, I want to place it. Uh, did I place it somewhere? Oh, I put it in here. That's no good. That was not what I meant to do. So I'm going to do that again. File, place. Parthenon plan. And there we go. So there it is. So again, what I want to do is um, shrink it, uh, shrink down the frame to where I want the plan to be, which is probably something like that. And then where is the other? I'm going to have to zoom way out here to see that. Let's do that. And there it is. So then uh, I, I'm going to want the plan to probably come down to about there, right? Maybe even a little further, depending how it all pans out. Then I'm going to right click, fitting, Fill frame proportionally. So there it is like that. So now I want to rotate it. So I'm going to double click in here. So there's the actual image. I can go into one of these corners. And if you scroll just below one of these little handles, you'll see that rotate symbol. So I want to rotate it so that north is up, which I'm pretty sure is this way. So to get it exactly right, I can hold, I can start rotating. And if you hold, hold on the shift key, it'll snap to whatever's closest. You know, that snaps to 45. That snaps to 90. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and I want to see more of this plan. So I'm going to start doing this, start uh, bringing these in, holding down the shift key to bring that in a little bit tighter. You know, and I can decide, well, is that good enough? That's probably good enough, right? That's That's enough of the... The part that I think I'm going to move this down a little bit. Maybe I can see a little bit more of the hill. There we go. And then I'm going to just click off of that so I can click back into the frame and crop this down a little bit more. And then we're done. So if I want to get the right scale, I can go into SketchUp and figure out what's going on. So I want to figure out how long the building is. It looks like my line here is, you know, pretty close to, well, it's somewhere around maybe there to there is about the same. So if I go into SketchUp, I can measure uh, how long that is. It's about 173 feet. Uh, so if I go back to InDesign and that says 200 feet, I'm going to say that that's pretty close. I'm just going to say that that's good enough, good enough for archaeologists. So then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these numbers around. Um, I need to do that. Control Z. Uh, move some of these numbers around come on pick it okay it's doing this i need to do this i need to arrange and send it back uh okay now i can click there we go and i'll put one there and maybe i've got another building that i want to call out for some context too uh, maybe there's a building over here three building over here four uh, these are pretty, I know that in the Parthenon that these are kind of significant buildings over here. We'll do five. Uh, maybe this one down here, six. Uh, and then if I want to figure out what those are, I obviously need to do some research. So I'll go to, I know this is on the Acropolis. Uh, look at the plan of the Acropolis. And I can start to figure out what's what. 
and, and make those annotations. So I'll go down here and I'll change those things. There's the Parthenon, there's the Sanctuary.